wanted to change my boot camp partition from the internal drive, which is a fusion drive, but when you do boot camp on it, it's on the hard drive portion of it, so it's very slow. So I wanted to change it to an external SSD drive to increase the speed. I found this excellent tutorial uh, by Roberto George that covers everything you basically need to know. However, it only covers a Thunderbolt connection. Um, I looked up the prices for these Thunderbolt SSD drives, and they're very expensive, so I actually bought a USB 3.0 drive, and I had not at that time read in the comments section that he could not get it working with the USB 3.0 drive. Um, you can see that the price of the one I bought, my digital SSD 512, is 199 for a 512 gig, and the one he was recommending with the Thunderbolt connection is basically you're getting half the storage space for pretty much the same price, and the 512 gig is $315.99. The speed on both of these drives is very similar. There's not much difference in speed. Uh, so I bought this one, the USB 3.0, and I did everything he, he mentioned in the video. And eventually when I started booting into Windows, I got this message, inaccessible boot device. And there's actually a very simple fix to allow you to boot from the USB 3.0 drive and not get this error message ever. Um, and the way you do it is you follow his tutorial. And when you get to the section while, where it's on the internal drive, it's still on the internal drive before you win clone it to the SSD drive, the external SSD drive, you want to make this simple registry change uh, in the Windows registry. And I will show you right now I'm in boot camp on a virtual machine, but you should do it before you transfer it to the external SSD, because otherwise you won't be able to get into it again to do it. Um, so what you want to do is Go to start, type reg edit, and this should appear. Click yes. And you can either search for, you use find hardware config, or you could just go to H key local machine system hardware config. And there's probably only one config here, unless you have, you're also doing a, a virtual machine. So right here, the one that has Apple, the computer IDs, is the regular bootcamp ID. So you, what you want to do is you want to go in this long string of hexadecimal numbers under hardware config, and there's a boot driver flag. And it is probably set to zero or one. You want to double click on it and change it to 14 hexadecimal. And basically you just exit out of that and then just follow the rest of his tutorial. And then when you boot with the USB 3.0 SSD drive, you will not get that error and you can use it like normal with great speeds, much faster than the internal hard drive.